Today, we're comparing soft LED light panels. Soft LED lights, light panel is uh, like, it's like- Oh, Hoover. it's a make, isn't it? Like we Hoover, can't call them. Can't, can't say that. No. Soft LED panels. And do you get what you pay for? Is it worth spending a lot of money or should you save a bit? I think the technology is catching up. Yes. They, and they look good. What really we need to do is to do a comparison Get technical, find out what's really going on this with these lights. This might get very technical. We're so, going to need a bit of... Um, somebody... Someone... Ah. Oh, hi, Samar Langton. How are you well, doing? Welcome. Oh, How are you? Welcome. Oh, good. Welcome to our light test. What's the chance of that? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just in the back there, you know. Are you up for our challenge? Uh, yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> good, that's how I did overhear what you're saying, yeah, and yes. Right, so we've got, we've got two what lights. What have you got? Paul, you're going to test the... I have the reassuringly expensive KinoFlow Diva LED 20. Ooh. He's got the Diva, yeah, Diva that. LED Ooh. 20. I've got the Lishwai 1380 Edge. How do you say that? Lishwai. Lish, My light comes in at a very tidy £465 Me plus likey. VAT. Yeah. And mine is £2,385. <laughs> That's about right, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> Mark, what we want you to do is to help us take a good look at these lights. You're going to use your... Uh, do some spectral analysis on them. <laughs> and and wow. some luminance tests. What is that? We'll just look at the colour, see how well the colour oh, right. okay. matches what it's putting out. Yeah. Uh, Brilliant. Let's do it. Oh, and you're here, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Right, I'll just, just finish this bit. All I'll right. be with you. Could you get me a coffee when you've done that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Do you want sugar with that? Two, please. Okay. So this is the Kino Flow. Very nice. Looks a lot like a celeb. But it with does. This, but with an old-fashioned diva Well, this is thingy. This looks exactly the same as my old diva with tubes in it. Yeah. It looks no different. In fact, even the back looks similar. You wouldn't it's know same, it. It's the same shell, isn't it? Yeah, I like this. Yeah, a lot of people don't it's, like it's it. It's nostalgic. <laughs> I think it's made so you can like nail it to film sets and things. Ah. You know, being a proper light. And it's going to appeal to the <laughs> film boys because they don't like change. <laughs> they don't like anything new. So if you can dress That's it up right. to look yeah. like something old that they're familiar with, they're going to uh, they're going to go for it straight away. Do you want to see it? It's, yeah, go on then. Let's, let's see. Let's see the good. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. So that's edge lit. <laughs> I take it. Uh, is, no, no, I don't think it is. I can see a kind of slight matrix in there, but I can't really, there's no real pattern as such. Should we weigh it? Yes. Ready? Let's see. Right. Your arm's shaking a bit. It is a little bit. That says about six kilos to me. That's quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Have you noticed what this doesn't have that the Lishway has? Uh, barn doors? No. V-lock adapter. Ah. Oh, but how much juice does it pull? Because I've noticed that all the new LEDs that have come out in the past year, 18 months, are a lot juicier than previous You can generations. run it on DC, but mm -hmm. it needs 24 volts. So you can run it on V-Lox, but you need two of them. Divas are the, the kind of standard, aren't they? They're the standard by which you measure the quality of lights. What I found is really lovely is the whole green magenta thing. I can minus the green. Oh, can you? Yeah. That's interesting. And it saves it so that even though you can dial any color temperature you want, your plus or minus green or magenta is remembered. Okay, so now we have the... The Lishy Lishy. The Lishwai. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, it's pretty well built, actually. It's all it metal. That's not, that's not flimsy, you feel, you feel those, that's... First impression is it's, you know, pretty solid. So, we can have the DMX, that I love it, everyone talks about the DMX, and yeah. how many cameramen have you gone to, to light an interview and gone, approximately, I'll, I'll just put um, it in my DMX zero. panel, <laughs> but it's there if you, it's if there if you, you want need it. it. If you want to string them together. It's pretty straightforward. It's got a V-lock mount on okay, here. Okay, so that comes off, does it? So, you can take the 
This is the mains unit. Okay, that's good. So I quite like that. I quite like that, that, that design there. So that holds it neatly on the back. So it's 15 volts, I noticed immediately. So again, it's on the new generation that are a bit more juicy. Everything up until about a year and a half ago was 12 volt. Now they seem to be going 15 volts plus on 24 volts. Which is um, presumably the new technology is, um, is, is eating more power. Let's come on, let's go to, to 11. Does it go to 11? Here we go, well, not okay. quite 11. What's so let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's that like? You ready? Yeah, okay. And ready? Oh! Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. How's that? Now, immediately I can see there's not as much patterning as the Kino. I'd say that's like a more uniform surface. Okay. Which, uh, because it's edge lit, all the LEDs around the side here, and there's not a matrix at the back, which means uh, I'd say it's about the same, sort of slightly softer than the Kino, but around about the same kind of. Um, that's good. You can that's see nice. that there. That's nice. It's not too much echo on either side. It's kind of nice, soft, diffused it's, shadow. It's echo? Is that, is that, is that technical? Well, I've made that up, but it sounds Did good. You? That's, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that. Echo. Next yeah. time I go yeah. So it's got a lovely smooth roll off, as you can see there. <laughs> So what's the last one? Six kilos for the kilos for the kino. Okay, five, six point five. I make that. So it's half kilo heavier. Half a kilo heavier. And it fills it. It does fill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Charmaine. Right, watch out. Here we go. Right, okay then. Uh, so far, but it, looks, it looks nice. This so, is and this is the four hundred and sixty odd pound. So line. I'm happy with my four hundred and sixty five pound that I spent. Whilst Paul can't even afford to eat. <laughs> because he's, <laughs> he's bought the other life. So um, let's take a look um, at the bright. Let's, let's do some comparisons. Yeah. Brightness? Yeah, let's do a, a proper acid test, but without the acid. Right, ready? Wait there. No, go forward a bit. Yeah. No, back a bit. <laughs> go a bit, what's up? What's up? Right, the, mid, the middle of this okay. is a meter from the, is a meter yeah. from the light. There we go. You want to see what's going on? Right, 3,200 Kelvin. Yeah. 100% brightness of the light. A second. There we go. And it's given us 2,360 lux. 2,310 lux. 2,520 lux. Hmm. And a lux of 2,540. 2,540. 2,570 lux. So that's quite good then, because you expect that to go down. It's a bit brighter, isn't that's it? That's brighter. Yeah. 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 So the blue LEDs, so the blue LEDs are, brighter are brighter than, than the, the, the red ones. ones. Yeah. Gives it a lux of 2,660, which is quite good. We're basically saying these two lights are pretty much as bright as... They're quite as comparable. It's, yeah. There's not £2,000 worth of difference. No. Really in, in the output. No, there isn't. Shall we have a look at the light quality? Yeah, let's have a look at the colour. So what we're going to do... Unfortunately, the human brain, when it sees light, it does internal white balancing. And you, you, you look at light, you can't tell if this colour's missing. But computers can. As you know, in the past, LEDs um, were... They weren't the best light source. It's only in the past sort of 12, 18 months they've, they've got good. They've got good enough for professionals to use. Okay, let's do science. Come on, come on, let's, let's go. Right. Let's measure. Oh, oh wow, okay, right. So okay. what are we... Now, we've got quite a good um, response all the way through here. See all these colours. Well, traditionally they use uh, CRI, the Colour Rendition Index for lighting. But that, they, they found that that doesn't work very well for LED lights because... But that's what everyone used to go on about. Oh, it's got really high oh, CRI, high CRI really yeah. high. And you look on eBay and all these nasty Chinese lights have got, oh, high CRI. But it, what it's, it's only showing you half the amount of colour that's going through. So what are we going to look at We're looking at extended CRI. Traditional CRI use just the first eight colours of the colour chart. Okay. Extended CRI uses uh, 15 colours. These are good anyway because they're all up in the 90s. But what is yeah. of particular importance and relevance is R9, which is this red channel. Okay. Now that red channel, let's have a look here, is R9, it's 87.4. Not quite in the 90s. I'd like to see that in the low 90s, but that's still very, very good. Mark, Professor Mark. Yes. I have another technical question for you. Go on then. TLCI. TLCI, the television lighting consistency index, divided by one of our own... Um, Chaps, ex BBC engineer. Um, it's it uses all sixteen colours on the Macbeth chart, which is a colour checker, which I think we've got one knocking around somewhere. Yeah. Um, 
Are we okay sticking with what we're looking at here? They're, they're very, ever so slightly different, but they're very similar. So similar enough for us to so, get... Yeah, extended CRI and TLSI, TLCI. We can... They're probably about two or three points different. Right. Two or three points is fine. Uh, you'll probably find that the TLSI is probably about two points above this. Right. Okay. It's a bit more forgiving. But we're, we're going to stick with our extended. And we're not going to go CQS, are we? Because that's another one altogether. I'm going to go put this to five points, okay, five, six. Good. Okay, standing by. Here we and go. Correct. Yeah. Ready. Ooh, okay. That's quite surprising. We have got on R9, which we know is our important spectrum we're looking at, which is red, 90%, 90.7%. That's good. Which is very good, which is counterintuitive because you think blue light would have less red in it. Yes, but in fact it's got mm. better red. So basically we're saying we're happy with that because it's yes. going to give us a much more exactly. natural So even the daylight than setting, true. it's going to give us a lovely skin tone because there's lots and lots of red information in that light. Beautiful. See that skin tone? See that skin tone? Beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful it's skin tone. Tan. <laughs> Store that. Okay, so now for the expensive light. Yeah, I'm expecting good Keynote. things. Yep, so am I. So at 3.2. This right. is uh, 3,200 Kelvin. Now we and the have R9. got... Let's just enlarge that. So you tell me, R9. 85.9. Oh. I'm going to do it again, just in case, because didn't expect that. What did the Lishway get? It was about... 87, 87 I think. 87, something like that. Okay. Right, R9, 85.7. 85 Don't twice. Computer doesn't lie. 85.7. Okay. Well, there's something. That's a shocker. Mm. Ooh. So the Lishwine's looking very good value. Shall we try this at 5.6? Yeah, let's try 5.6. Okay. It's a long way in there. 5.6. Right, um, this, this has got to be in the 90s, hasn't it, to beat yeah. it? Okay. I want to see good things for this. Okay. Ooh, 88.2. Ooh. Oh dear. Let's do that again, just in case. I'm, I'm shocked. It's not the green magenta thing, is it? Can that change it? 18.6. We can try it, but... Does that... So that... R9, 88.6. <laughs> in daylight mode. <laughs> this isn't looking good for Kinoflow, is it, really? It's not their day. Look at this, the extended CRI. Oh, you can see it's it. A, yeah, you can see it's a dip down there. You can actually see. It's got the same R12 blue dip down yeah. here. Can I try just changing yeah, the green yeah. magenta yes, thing? If I, if I go minus green on it, yeah. just out of interest. 97.9. So that's virtually 98, which is almost so we're saying a perfect score. This is possibly better but only if you tweak but, but you it. You need to tweak it. 97. And with a true colour temperature of 5503. Oh, that's pretty close. Yeah. To 56. So I was worried there for a minute. I thought this was going to be much worse. R9's come right up now, almost to the end, which is what I expected in the first place, to be honest. That's what I expected of Kino. That's really interesting that at, at its zero green magenta trim, mm. that's coming out worse than the Lishwai. Yes, a default. Not many people so, are going to think, if you hired one of these, you're not, and you know, you turn up on the job, you think, I'll stick it on default well, when because I, the bods at Kino have said it. To also, be when I first dialed that in with my eyes, mm. it looked really green. That look, it does look green. It, it still looks green. green. Still looks green. Still looks green. But why is that coming? It doesn't look too bad on the F5. 55.2. Oh, right, that's much worse. No. Okay, so that green magenta trim on the 3.2 is best left at zero, but yes. when you dial in the, the 5.6, it's best to put a bit of green in. It appears so. It's not linear, See, is it? See, we're learning, we're learning. It's not linear. No, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. It's not intuitive, but that's, that's why we use these. Right, 2,000 and what? 2,000 lux and 3.3... Three, three, Nine. Shall I write it down? Okay. Three, three, thirty. Call it. Okay. Right, we're still rolling. So we cannot, with our eyes, see any difference. No. So if we now split screen this, mm -hmm. we should see what the colour checker colours yes. actually look like. Yes. Across the screen, which would be quite interesting to see. Let's do four splits. Okay. 
So, we have been technical, we have. haven't we? We've found mm. lots of things out. But when we go and light something, an interview in somewhere, it's about subjective, it's about artistic interpretation. What we need is a really good looking model. Okay, so we're using the Kinoflow Diva, is that right? The posh two and a half grand light as a soft key throwing it at 45 degrees, as you would do in an um, interview scenario. And we're looking at the shadows and the roll off from the shadows, where the shadows meet the highlights. Uh, and you're looking at how the, the light rolls off, how smooth it is, how diffused it is. What you want, you don't want hard lines, you want diffusion to make it look like, uh, to mimic natural daylight, but soft natural daylight. Uh, and looking at the monitor, it's doing a pretty good job of that. I like it. Mm. There's no flows here on it, there's no extra diffusion, that's the, the bare panel of the light and uh, it's doing a, a remarkable job. Lovely. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hang on. When putting the light up for your interviewee, <laughs> you say, Don't mind your eyes, I'm about to put the light on. <laughs> Professor Mark Langton, scientist that he is. Hang no game. I'm now blinded in this eye. <laughs> so what we've done, we've swapped the Kino flow over, we've put the Lishu eye, uh, fancy edge light thingy, in its place, exactly the same position. We've matched the intensity within a few lux. Um, we're going to look at the shadows to see if they're uh, different to the Kino or the same characteristic. Again, we look at the nose shadow. We've done deliberate 45 degree angle, as you would do in a portrait situation. We've left out this soft fill, because we want to see contrast. We want to see light and dark. We want to see these edges and the roll off. If I look at the monitor, and then back. I would say Lishuai doesn't have quite the softness of the Kino flow, but it's, it's quite close. It seems to be slightly um, harder, slightly more pronounced. Doesn't seem to be quite as flattering. I mean, it's soft, but I think the keynote just, just aesthetically as as the edge on the shadows. I don't know why. It's nice. It's very nice roll off, but I don't know. I think Kino's just got the edge on it. But what do we think, boys? How do we sum up these two lights? Would we buy the four hundred and sixty-five pound plus fat Lishui? Or does it have to be the Kino Flow at £2,385? Mark Langton. I think the Lishuai Edge doesn't quite have the edge Ooh. on the Kino Flow. But, but I, I'm not convinced it's a £2,000 edge. Is this five times better? Because that's no, what we're talking about. I would say about. it's two times better. I wouldn't yes. say it's five times better. I'm really shocked at how close they are. The, the, the difference in, in the light quality is really close. It would be interesting to come back in a year's time and do the same test and see if you're paying for longevity with a product like the Kinoflow. There is that. Yeah. I mean, people from Kinoflow say that their LEDs are very high quality. They're going to last. They'll still be the same color in seven years time. And the lower quality lights change color over age. I'd also say I like the way this mounts the Kino flow on the, the ball joint at the back, so you can, you can easily move it and tilt it. That's it's a little a standard, bit. It's a standard mount. And, and the way it, the knuckles, also this egg crate, which comes as standard, is brilliant. If you tilt it, there's no spill, look, sideways. Mm. So, yeah, but have LEDs of this caliber been around long enough to test them over... Well, it's it's we'll, have to come back. we'll have to come back in seven years, but look at that. We'll have to come back in look seven years. It, there's no spill at all after that. Could you have it back on me? Yeah, that's, Thank you. that's neat. So there's, mm. there's, a, there's a little bit about the usability of this I like, and I like the quality of the light, but I'm not sure it's five times better than that. So I, I'm really shocked at the quality of the Lishway. This also does something which that light doesn't. Something special. Something oh, special. Yeah, what's that? Party time. Hit it, Andy.